we have always uh, uh, talked about the full year of fiscal 22 being our first full year with over a billion dollars in revenue. What we had previously talked about is the moment in which we surpass the run rate uh, or, or uh, uh, hit the run rate of a billion in revenue, which wouldn't be a full year of, of revenue at a billion, which was, uh, which was the earlier uh, uh, milestone. What we wanted to do is, given our solution sales strategy, our add-on product strategy, our big deal growth metrics, we didn't want to pinpoint the specific quarter uh, in which we plan to uh, hit that billion dollar run rate. However, we did uh, commit to and recommit to being able to achieve over a billion in revenue in FY22, which is what we had previously talked about. And then why did, to that point though, Aaron, why can't you be you know, more precise? You know, for, yeah. for people who are looking, they want to know when you're going to hit that bogey. Is that, yeah. my question was whether, is that because obviously you made these changes, you just referenced the sales force. Yeah. I mean, is that, is that just causing maybe some delays that you initially hadn't seen coming? I think as we're looking two years out, it's, it's, uh, it's harder to get a, a complete picture of exactly the quarter in which we, we plan to uh, hit that billion dollar metric. Uh, run rate again um, and so as we get closer to that moment I think we'll have more clarity around when we can guide to that specific run rate metric although uh, we are fully confident in uh, surpassing a billion in revenue in FY22 so that part is unchanged um, we are uh, uh, still um, early in but but we're seeing very successful signs of our modern and, and kind of updated go-to-market strategy which is all about ensuring customers are able to deploy the full breadth of boxes capabilities uh, last quarter we did fi uh, 50 deals over a hundred thousand dollars as compared to 40 deals over a hundred thousand dollars a year prior we did 11 deals over five hundred thousand dollars as compared to eight a year prior so you are seeing some pretty good progress against those key metrics and but why though Aaron I could see some traders investors business people listening to this and I, yeah. I could see some asking he beat on Q2 yeah. he's mentioning the strong pipeline the deals over 100,000 so why was the guide then Aaron it was basically roughly in line with the suit was yeah. looking for. Are, are you really as, as confident about those upcoming quarters? We are uh, very confident in the upcoming quarters and uh, in our ability to reaccelerate growth next year uh, on a revenue basis, which means that we plan to reaccelerate growth on a billings basis at the end of this year. Um, our business is becoming a little bit more seasonal because of the bigger deal nature of, of the, uh, the customers that we're serving, which means that it's a bit more of a back-end loaded year for us, especially in Q4, and we are seeing that show up in the numbers a bit. That, uh, I think, is uh, uh, probably in part uh, you know, driving the conservative guide that you reference in Q3. We did guide in line uh, for the full year, so we're, we're pretty happy about the numbers that we're gonna put up there, and then um, fully expect to be able to reaccelerate growth going into fiscal uh, 20, which is uh, starts in February of next year. Let's switch gears here a little bit. We're here at Boxworks. This is your big customer yep. partner conference. One interesting bit of news is that you're gonna make it easier now um, to integrate Box with all these different productivity suites. So whether that's Office, G Suite, iWork, um, Talk about what that's going to mean for Box's business. Yeah, so our, our job is to be an open uh, and integrated platform into all of the apps that our customers are using. So we help 69% of the Fortune 500 store, secure, and manage their critical information. But customers like General Electric, like Eli Lilly, like Pfizer, like Amgen, they want to be able to have one source of truth for their data, but connect that information to all of the applications that they're using. So at this conference, we've updated and announced new partnerships with ServiceNow, uh, updated our, our uh, partnership with Slack. We've announced new integrations with Google Suite. Um, we've uh, announced some new integrations with Office 365. So we want to make sure that when customers want to be able to access their data from anywhere, any application, any device, anywhere around the world, that we're fully integrated into all the services that they're using. So uh, partnerships are, are really core to our business.